All right, so this is a part two video. Uh, the previous video was on how to create a symmetric key, AES key. Um, this video is going to be on how to encrypt and decrypt uh, messages, strings. So uh, the first thing we're going to need, let's make some variables here. Let's make one for the alias. We'll call it alias with the value secret key. We're going to need some plain text. Let's see, I am some plain text that needs to be in encrypted. All right, we need a handle on our crypto utils. All right, now we need to make make the key. Generate the secret key. Pass it into alias. All right, so um, now we need to let's step into this class and write some functions to encrypt and decrypt that. So we're going to create a function called encrypt. It takes an alias and it takes some plain text and it returns a string, a nullable string. All right, so all right, first thing we need an instance of the key store. So let's get key store, get an instance. All right, Android key store, call load. We're just going to do null parameters for that. Okay, next we need to. Um, get our secret key that we made up here. So keystore dot get key. I'll pass it the alias. Null parameters. All right, now we need a try catch. We got to get a cipher. And we're gonna pass it. Um, transformation so cbc slash pk cs7 padding all right we got our cipher now let's initialize it and the mode we want is encrypt mode what oh, doesn't like there oh we got to pass it the secret key Oh, we forgot to put that into a variable, so let's put that into a variable. All right, so we have the cipher initialized. Next, uh, we have to encrypt. So let's go val cipher text. We go cipher do final, and let's see, we're gonna pass in. The plain text, we got to turn it into a byte array, two byte array. And this whole thing, we're going to base 64 encode it. And I'm using the Android, Android util. It's a little bit different than the Java util. So I like it better. Uh, let's see. Encode to string. Passing that cipher byte array base sixty four. We're just gonna do the default. Okay, so that's cipher text. It's been base sixty four encoded. Uh, the base sixty four encoding just I'm not gonna get too much into it, but it just makes it readable. Um, if you didn't do that, it would just be a garbled byte array that can't really turn into readable text. Um, and then now we need the IV. We get that from the cipher. 
we'll need that when we decrypt it. So I'm also going to base 64 encode that to a string. And I'm going to return the ciphertext. Actually, I'm going to put this, I'm going to interpolate it. So we'll go ciphertext. And we'll do dot. Actually, let's put that in curly braces, dot. We'll separate it with a period. And then ID. All right. And I'll add the catch statement. And then we'll log the error message if there is one. And we'll return null if it doesn't work. Oh, yeah, that's unreachable. So there we go. So, and then we can lift the return out of this. There we go. So it'll return the ciphertext separated in the IV which is separated by this period or it returns null. So let's um, let's try that. So crypto utils dot encrypt we'll pass the alias and some plain text and this should return ciphertext. And we're gonna log this. Uh, let's make a little tag here. All right, so we'll do ci uh, let's see cipher text equals, and then we'll print the cipher text. All right, let's run this. Okay, there we go. So we can see the ciphertext right here, with the period separating the two, the initialization vector, and uh, the ciphertext. Now let's decrypt that. We'll make a function to decrypt. And it's gonna take an alias and some cipher text and it's going to return a nullable string all right we're going to do the same thing here we want an instance of the key store i'm just going to copy and paste that over we want to get the key let's get that over here all right let me hide this all right so what else? Um, return. Let's make a return try catch. So we got to get the cipher. Uh, this is going to be the same. Let me just copy and paste this. But it's not going to be in encrypt mode, it'll be in decrypt mode. Um, uh, let's see, let's split up the ciphertext. So uh, let's get, uh, let's make it an array. Set it equal to ciphertext split. We're going to split them at that period. And then we'll do, uh, let's see, we'll call it cipher data equals array. That's the first one. Oh, gotta put that in the variable. And it's base64 encoded, so now we gotta base64 decode it. And same thing, same flag, default. So now it's a it's in a byte array. And let's do the same thing with the IV, the initialization vector.
And that's the second uh, thing in the array. And it's base 64 default. Okay, so now we have the cipher data and the initialization vector. Now we, uh, let's see, we, after we initialize the, or we get an instance of the cipher, let's make, we need a IV parameter spec. So we'll call it spec, IV parameter spec. And we're just going to pass it the IV. Okay. Um, and then we're going to initialize the, I, the cipher with the secret key, the IV, and the mode. Okay. What doesn't it like? Right. Let's just keep going. Um, Now let's see what else. Uh, let's see. Let's do the clear. Let's get the clear text. We'll do do final, and we're gonna pass um, the cipher data, and we're gonna return a string clear text. Offset is zero. Let's see, clear text dot size, and then standard char sets UTF eight. Why doesn't it like that? That is. Um, oh, it needs the spec, not the IV. Okay, so we need to add the catch statement. We're going to log it. And then we're going to return null. I don't think we need that. There we go. So there we go. Um, we get the cipher, get an instance, IV parameter spec, initialize the cipher in decrypt mode with the secret key. The ID parameter spec, we get the clear text from passing it to cipher data, and we return the string. All right, so let's call that Biblio's decrypt. We're going to pass it the alias and cipher text. What does not I? Oh, uh, okay. There we go. And this will return the clear text. And we're going to uh, print this out. And this should work. Let's clear up the log cat first and then run it. Okay, on create, there's the cipher text. And then on create, here we go, clear text that is now decrypted. So that's how you encrypt and decrypt using an AES key on Android. I uh, hope that was helpful. Uh, thanks for watching.